Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to do a demonstration on a patient um, that will show you what an inverted supinator test looks like. Okay, now when somebody has a positive inverted supinator test, you need to be suspicious of an upper motor neuron issue. And um, with Joanne here, she's had cervical spinal stenosis, had a fusion, she's had some uh, central cord compression and stenosis. So this finding is here now, but probably will be with her the rest of her life. So we find it when we, the way we do this is we basically check her reflexes. So we've already done C7, C5, and now we're gonna do C6. We're gonna push that watch up just a little bit. I need you really to relax that arm, okay? Just let it just hang there for a bit. I'm gonna check this reflex, see what happened. Her fingers flex just like that. And the response should be more of an extension of that and even a little bit of flexion at the elbow um, because we're testing that brachioradialis. But that is a positive inverted supinator test. Somebody has that, you need to be suspicious of an upper motor neuron lesion. Um, the other thing that I would do is I would jump right into a Hoffman's test um, so we have her relax that arm as much as possible. And as you can see, I'm going to give her a flick. Watch the finger and thumb. Very positive. Hoffman's. And so um, this is a positive sign of an upper motor neuron lesion. So I hope you enjoyed those two tests. And uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.